Tis the season to shine with H&M. Discover the holiday collection and find fashionable pieces for your wardrobe or for under the tree. Get inspired and dazzle with this year's glam. From tuxedo styles, bow detailed pieces, impressive prints, and more. From unforgettable looks to unforgettable gifts. With fashion finds to home decor, find it all at H&M. Treat your loved ones and yourself this season. Shop in-store or at hm.com. This episode is brought to you by Shopify. Selling a little or a lot? Do your thing however you cha-ching with Shopify, the global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business. Shopify helps you turn browsers into buyers with the internet's best converting checkout. 36% better on average compared to other leading commerce platforms. Get a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash offer 23. Ryan Reynolds here from Mint Mobile. Not only have I been the owner of Mint Mobile for the last few years, I've also been a customer. I don't know if you knew this, but anyone can get the same premium wireless for $15 a month plan that I've been enjoying. It's not just for celebrities, so do like I did and have one of your assistant's assistants switch you to Mint Mobile today. I'm told it's super easy to do at mintmobile.com slash switch. New activation and upfront payment for three-month plan required. Taxes and fees extra. Additional restrictions apply. See mintmobile.com for full terms. This episode is brought to you by Shopify. Selling a little... Or a lot? Do your thing however you cha-ching with Shopify, the global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business. Shopify helps you turn browsers into buyers with the internet's best converting checkout. 36% better on average compared to other leading commerce platforms. Get a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash offer 23. This episode is brought to you by Shopify. Selling a little... Or a lot? Do your thing however you cha-ching with Shopify, the global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business. Shopify helps you turn browsers into buyers with the internet's best converting checkout. 36% better on average compared to other leading commerce platforms. Get a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash offer 23. Tis the season to shine with H&M. Discover the holiday collection and find fashionable pieces for your wardrobe or for under the tree. Get inspired and dazzle with this year's glam. From tuxedo styles, bow detailed pieces, impressive prints, and more. From unforgettable looks to unforgettable gifts. With fashion finds to home decor, find it all at H&M. Treat your loved ones and yourself this season. Shop in-store or at hm.com. Failing as a multiracial female coming from a, a, an incredibly badass warrior of a mother who was a single parent, I had to. There is no time to waste. I am not a waste. I matter. What I'm putting out into the world matters. I had to. That's my level of thought. Hey, my name is Veronica Cisneros, and I am a licensed marriage and family therapist, a mama of three girls, and married for 23 years. I am obsessed with helping you navigate through the seasons of marriage, helping couples like you break free from feeling like roommates. I will teach you the secrets to having a healthy marriage by providing tools and tips to help you reconnect in a way that you can't keep your hands off each other, where flirting and kissing is the norm in your household. Setting intentional time to date, get to know and support each other's dreams and goals so that you can grow together without keeping score or judging one another. Where you feel seen and heard even when you disagree. Where arguments end with mutual respect and understanding. Where you work together to build and strengthen your family so no one feels like they're carrying the weight of the family on their own. These are the necessary skills your children need for you to model so that they develop healthy relationships and thrive in life. This is the Empowered and Unapologetic Podcast. 
Welcome to the Empowered and Unapologetic Podcast. I am your host, Veronica Cisneros. Today's guest is a track and field Olympian, entrepreneur, and nonprofit founder of the Priscilla E. Frederick Foundation. She runs three, yes, three successful businesses, is a three-time Hall of Fame inductee, two-time female athlete of the year recipient, national record holder, national champion, and world-class medalist with features in the New York Times, CNN, BBC, ESPN, National Geographic, and Disney+. Plus. Priscilla is a public figure with 10 years of experience in athletics and public speaking. Priscilla Loomis is a failure and fighter, leader and ally, promoting positive energy, gratitude, love, of self and being the rising tide that lifts all ships. Priscilla, thank you so much for joining us. Holy shit, girl. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you for being on. Thank you for having me. I am very, I'm always, always, always blessed, humbled, and grateful to be invited to podcasts that shine a light on women on what we go through and that we're not alone and this ally and this sisterhood. So thank you for having me. I'm very, very honored. I'm excited. Absolutely. Okay. So tell us about, you have three businesses. Tell us about your journey. Like, have you always known you wanted to be an entrepreneur or is this something that just kind of, right, right, right. Every single time I ask that question, every single time I ask that question, tell me about it. No, I'm the actual first entrepreneur of my family. Mm -hmm. My mother is from Dominican Republic and my father is from Antigua and Barbuda. And so, you know, the American dream for them was coming to this country and getting a job. Yeah. And then being able to be self-sufficient financially, spiritually, mentally, everything. So for me, it was the same path. When we were growing up, again, we're talking about the throwbacks of the (laughs) It was, you get it, you go, you graduate, you get a job, you work for somebody else. Being an entrepreneur just wasn't, it wasn't glorified. It wasn't glamorized. No. It was no. horrible. Like it was only if you ha- came from money that yep. you could become an entrepreneur. Yep. So and everything changed, right? And so becoming an entrepreneur was something of an answer to a prayer. It yeah. was me finding myself. It was me taking back control over my narrative, my voice, my conscience. Um, And it was, it was something that I had to do. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't like, oh, here's your business. I would love to. No, it was either (laughs) you were going to fail. You can complain or you can do something about it. And so the first business I started was a cleaning business in 2016 after I came home from the Olympics. There were some at-home problems with my mom, who I was living with, and her husband. And I realized I wasn't signed. You know, I was an Olympic athlete, yeah. top in the world, yep. and I couldn't afford anything. Isn't I couldn't that afford crazy? anything. Girl. <laughs> yeah. No, it's like, yeah. it's like I'm total it's badass, like and I ain't got no money. I have no money. Yeah. I'm, I'm figuring out where to live. Yeah. Yes. I have nothing. I'm driving my little Honda Civic. I was yep. super excited that I even, you know, could could pay, pay those car payments. Yep. I had no way to live. I was still living with my mom because I sacrificed everything for yep. this Olympic dream. Yeah. And I thought that it was going to go. I'll go. I'll start competing. I'll get signed. It'll be small, but I'll have that support, and then I'll keep rising that ladder. Come to find out, that's not how it is at all. And yeah. so, especially in track and field, I feel like I am always the underdog, always in every situation, because I was a black female doing track and field, one of the least paid sports. I was a field eventer, which gets nothing. No. And then representing a, a country that truly doesn't put women on any kind of respect level. So it was just like, 
no, no, no. And then when I was representing the U.S. in 2012, they saw no value in me. So they mm-hmm. didn't want to invest in me. So it's really about changing this narrative. So 2016, I come home from the Olympics. There's no parade. There's no anything. It was me and my coach at IHOP. Just yeah. me taking a season <laughs> off. Being like, right? like, but that's yeah. how it is. It, it's the truth. It's the truth. This is all real. These are all facts. Yeah. And so leaving my mom's house and realizing that I was on my own, I said, what am I good at? Like, what can I do right now with the $40 that I have in my bank account? Yep. And it was cleaning. Yeah. It's the one thing I love to do. I didn't need a lot of capital or startup or anything. So I went to Walmart, got a bucket, got the cleaning supplies, start a friend of mine, uh, was, you know, was working for a printer. He was like, I'll print out your, you know, your paper for you. And I yeah. uh, started just putting out flyers. And I got nothing, nothing from over 200 flyers. Absolutely nothing. I was at practice one day and a, somehow a guy came up and was like, oh, this is a, you know, a friend of mine, you know, Priscilla. And he was introducing me to his friend. He was in awe because I was, in, you know, I'm an Olympic athlete. Yeah. Kind of a big, I'm kind of a big deal. I'm kind of a big yeah. deal. <laughs> like, I'm a big dork, right? Like I'm a dork. I'm a dork. Cool, it's her door. And I said, Yeah, I own a company. It's, you know, flawless cleaning. And he goes, Oh, I'm looking for a cleaning lady. And this guy said that he would trust you with his daughters, his family. So I would love to talk. Yeah. And that's how I got my first client. That was the first time. And it was just positive vibes going through what I was going through, not giving up on myself, and just not letting all of the days of not getting the phone calls or not getting yeah. the client, I had to continuously show up for my value, my voice and myself. And so that's how it happened. And I faked it till I made it. And yeah. I, I made it right. So I was like, Oh, the clients, I usually do this. I had no idea what the hell I was talking about. Yeah. You're like, I, I usually offer this amount for my clients. Yes. However, right? like, yeah. 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 And that's what I did. <laughs> I totally played, played all the words, all the trigger words, yeah. <laughs> right? And that's how it started. And that's how I started my first business. And I realized like managing, you know, the little bit of money that I had and figure it. And I had to, you know, meet with a, a, a financial advisor, which I had yeah. never been taught to. I had no idea. I had no relationship with money. So you had it big, girl. Okay. So I you had started. To. Yeah. I had to. That I had to, all of us have that. I, yeah. well, I can't say, I, can't, I shouldn't say all of us, but whenever I'm around high achieving women, all of us are doing shit scared, like straight up. All of us are doing shit scared. We don't know what we're making it up as we go. You know, hell, hell yeah, I've done this for like five years, even though this is going to be my first time doing this, but whatever. I've done yeah. this for a long time, right? We just yeah. fake the shit till we make it. Yeah. You're saying I had to tell me about the had to, why did you have to? What, what, what were you up against? Failing as a multiracial female yeah. coming from a, a, an incredibly badass warrior of a mother who was a single parent. Yeah. I had to. There is no time to waste. I am not a waste. I matter. Yeah. What I'm putting out into the world matters. I yeah. had to. That's my level of thought. Yeah. And most people will say, oh, well, you're an Olympic athlete. That's your mindset. No, boo boo. No, honey. No. Yeah. It's, that's not it at all. Because if I became a product of all the shit that was thrown in my face, I would never, ever be here. I would just wallow. The the thing is, I think what people fail to realize is you actually have more up against you as being this Olympic athlete, way, way more. Here's, here's, and this is, this is where I'm going. Here's why. Okay. So you're this world renowned Olympian in IHOP with your Honda moving out of your parents, you know, you're moving out of your mom's mom's house. 
there is an expectation. There is an expectation. You're like this high achieving person. So a lot of people will hide behind that. A lot of people will hide behind it. They'll act as if everything's okay, but they won't go anywhere because they don't want to put themselves out there. I'm a high achieving woman. I can't put myself out there saying I'm a clean, you know, I'm in the cleaning business. I'm cleaning up people's houses, right? I can't do that. My mom was was embarrassed for me. Bingo. She was like, bingo. She's like, you're college educated. Yeah. You want a full ride. You're an Olympic athlete. Why are you saying, and you're okay with articles coming out saying that you scrub toilets to get to the Olympics? I said, because I did. What are we so afraid of? Like, I am never, like, and for a long time, it was hide behind whatever. And I'm still going through it. Right. I retired in 2021. I'm still now. I have to live up to this Olympic title, whatever I do afterwards, Mm -hmm. I have to live up to it. I have to be successful. Priscilla, you're going to go so far. You're doing such amazing things. Bitch, it's hard. It is hard, right? To have that kind of pressure. But who's putting that pressure on me? Nobody like they can say whatever they want to any and anybody. And yes, I did achieve greatness, but I am starting from the bottom now. Yes. Yes. Just because I have these rings does not mean people are throwing jobs out at me. People are not like, oh, wh-. no, it doesn't happen like that. So I am starting from scratch and going to different jobs. And trying to succeed and having this mentality of excellence and greatness and tenacity with other people that don't live that same lifestyle causes yeah. a lot of friction. Oh, so tell me more about that. Tell me more about that friction. Nobody talks about that. That's exactly why I'm doing this series. Nobody talks girl, about that. Girl. Oh, um, I ch- I've tried working three jobs. Three. And I'm grateful for the opportunities. I'm grateful for the love. I'm grateful that they saw something in me and wanted, but they didn't want me to be too much. Yeah. I went to a recent one because I needed a part-time job, just something yeah. to keep me afloat while I'm building my business. And I know that the woman interviewing me was speaking for other people in the company. But she said in the interview, this job can't be bigger than this job. Mm. You cannot be bigger than this job. So what she was saying, I am too much. Yeah. I need you to tone it down. Yeah. And I, I realized in that moment, I should have said no. Should have said no. Why didn't you? I dealt with sexism in a previous job. I dealt with colorism at the Olympics and sexism and racism, right? In every place that I went, my voice was taken away from me. My style, my confidence, everything. They try and take it one by one, little by little, so that you're not bigger than them. But what I realized was my character, my personality disrupted their title. Yeah. So no matter what I did, I wasn't going to fit. That's why I had to become an entrepreneur. I'm not going to, I'm a very literal person in the sense of, I need to be the change that I want to see. I did it in my marriage. I did it now in my work. I do it everywhere. If something needs to change, I'm going to be the first one. Because if it's bettering me, then I have no time for excuses. Yeah. I need to be this change. So I became this entrepreneur and I'm growing my business. Because one, 
The world needs my business. I'm a motivational speaker. I speak on this selective mindset. I speak on women showing up for themselves every damn day, no matter how hard it gets, no matter all the shit that gets thrown at you, no matter how many times you have to keep adjusting and pivot and massage different things out of your life and getting rid of toxic relationships. That's what I speak on. Yeah. Because I've actually done it. And there's so much power in my failures, in all the things that were meant to break me. But the one thing that I realized was that I will not allow somebody to take my voice, take my essence to make themselves feel comfortable. So I realized that I needed, to, I, I decided to become the person that other people need. And that was the most important thing. And that's where the had to comes in. Yeah. If I can't see it, I need to be it. Hey there, high achieving moms and wives. Are you tired of feeling like something's missing in your marriage? Well, buckle up because I'm about to reveal the missing puzzle piece that will bring back the romance, intimacy, and equality you've been craving. I understand what you're going through. It's not just about the occasional date night or a box of chocolates. It's about creating a deep emotional connection, feeling truly understood, and being on the same page when it comes to parenting. You want more than just a teammate. You want a partner who supports you, lifts you up, and shares the responsibilities of life. But let's be real. Finding that balance isn't easy. That's why my seven principles for making marriage work program is here to guide you every step of the way. In just 12 weeks, I will help you build the foundation of a rock solid relationship, one that's built on romance, intimacy, and equality. Imagine rekindling that spark, reigniting the passion, and discovering a whole new level of emotional security and communication with your partner. It's time to break free from the mundane and reignite the fire. But wait, you might be thinking, what have I tried already? Trust me, we've seen it all. Couples who've tried everything from fancy date nights to self-help books. And while those things have their place, they often miss the mark when it comes to true transformation. That's where my expertise comes in. As a licensed marriage and family therapist with a decade of experience, I've honed my skills in helping couples like you create lasting change. Together, we'll tackle the root issues and provide you with practical tools that actually work. So don't settle for an average marriage when extraordinary is within reach. Head over to veronicacisneros.org forward slash coaching right now to learn more about this program and apply. Remember, spots are limited, so don't wait. This is your chance to finally have the romance, intimacy, and equality you've been yearning for. It's time to reclaim your emotional connection, support each other, and become the unstoppable team you were meant to be. Let's rewrite the story of your marriage together. Visit veronicacisneros.org forward slash coaching and take the first step towards a love that exceeds your wildest dreams. The journey to a fulfilling marriage starts now. Don't miss out. So what are you waiting for? Go to veronicacisneros.org forward slash coaching and let's transform your relationship. You know, a lot, with, I, don't, I don't think we, it's not that we're looking for it, but I don't think we get the credit that we deserve. I've talked to a lot of high achieving women and they all have told me the same thing. It is so lonely. It is so lonely. Not a lot of people understand us. Not a lot of people understand the fight. Not a lot of people understand that I have to, like I have to, you know, um, I even with my husband, you know, um, we'll be talking about things and it's like, I, I have to go ahead and do this. And he's like, but you're the boss. Like, what do you mean you have to? And it's like, just because I'm the boss doesn't mean that I set my ass down and don't do shit. Like, I better, I better be working like no other because I need to take care of my employees. I need to take care of my team. You know, don't mm -hmm. get me wrong. I could facilitate like no other. And at the same time, there are things that I need to do to ensure that my, my team is able to feed their babies, is able yeah. to go ahead and do the things that they're doing. And they're not stressing out about stuff. Like I got to make sure that this machine right here is well oiled and I got to be the one that's taking care of it, and nurturing it. And that, I think that's one portion 
that especially female leaders, we take it, we take it all on. It's like our responsibility to yeah. be the leader, um, be the task manager, be the coach, be the, be all the things. Right. Yeah. And at a certain point, you have to realize that there has to be an alignment. And I don't say yes. balance because sometimes shit happens, yep. but there yep. has to be things that align with you. And mm-hmm. so I, you have to do what's best for you. You yes. really, really do. And I speak a lot about this word selfish and how it's really like everybody wants to be an athlete, right? Like everybody, yeah. oh, it's so awesome to be an athlete. It's awesome. <laughs> And the number one thing that athletes do is take care of themselves above everything else. We are the most selfish people. You have to be. And and, and nobody ever says, oh, that athlete's being selfish. No. They say that athlete is taking care of themselves to be the best that they can possibly be. They're training. They're training. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I don't understand why the same thing can't happen to female entrepreneurs, to female CEOs. Yeah. You have to pour into yourself every single day. Yes. I don't understand why you can be all these things, but you have to take care of you. So that morning cup of coffee that relaxes you and zends you and you do your makeup or you do your nails, that's not, that's not selfish in a negative way. It's you taking care of yourself. You cannot be all the things. You can't. And I know everybody's like, oh, all the things. Boo boo. <laughs> no, it's, it is not going to happen. No. no. Be the best you. Be the one thing that you want to do. Leave the impact that you want to leave. And have your surroundings match that. Have your surroundings align with that. And then we spoke very briefly about relationships. It was exactly what athletes do. We don't surround ourselves with people that are going to bring us down. We cut out toxic relationships. We cut out negative people. The same is for us. Us as women of color, us as women, you've got to cut out the toxic behaviors, the Mm -hmm. toxic relationships that surround you. And it's difficult because it is, it comes in forms of best friends and moms and sisters and it doesn't matter. Mm -mm. You cannot grow and thrive if there are cancers attached to you. And that's part of, and that's what the Olympic mindset, which is what I speak on is all about. You've got to, it's, it's, it's every detail of your life being a positive to who you are and yeah. now leaving this impact for others to grow, for others to rise, for others mm-hmm. to elevate. And it didn't have to mean you being there physically. It's you being your best self. That's what's most important. And in business, especially being an entrepreneur, I just got off the phone with a, a, a woman that's part of this tribe that I'm a part of. I'm like, I need help with, these automated tools, I can't do it. No. I can't. I can't schedule everything, right? I can't do all these things. I can't pour another five thousand dollars into my website. I can't. I physically can't. Yeah. So taking back that control and that power and being like, this is what I can do, and this is what I cannot. Bingo. Bingo. It's a beautiful. Thing. And it's very simple. I know everybody wants gimmicks and words and phrases. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I can do this. And I cannot do that. Sorry, I'm not sorry, but this is it. And that's also what's the beautiful part about what I get to do is because I'm honest. I'm very open about this. The programs that I use, the tools that I use, I'm verified on Instagram. I couldn't post for six days. I couldn't, I couldn't even look at it. I was like, screw it. If I lose the, if I lose that on the algorithm, it's not, it's not the end of the world. It's really not. I, I I can do what I can control, what I can control. Everything else. That's all I can do, boo boo. And if on Sunday I need to take a day off and have a cocktail, it's exactly what you're going to (laughs) find. 
having my cocktail, right? <laughs> so it's, 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 it, there's so many layers to being a fabulous, badass female warrior, but it's a lot of the underlying, like that, t- I love that iceberg mm-hmm. picture. The picture. Mm-hmm. It's like the little, the little top. There's so many things, right? Like yeah. I am working as a bartender and mm-hmm. I'm working on my business. I'm working on my nonprofit. I'm working uh, on my cleaning business that I still have, right? So, and I had to get rid of one of my businesses because I couldn't juggle it all. Yeah. I can't. Yeah. I'm only one person, right? Mm-hmm. I had to get rid of one recently and I'm okay with it. It's yep. fine. Yep. I'm going to, that's the thing, but continuously learning about my business and not having people that have that same fire and that same passion on my team is difficult, right? But I'm building my bench and it's constantly evolving and it's constantly elevating. And I, I haven't taken a honeymoon. I haven't taken a really cool trip. You know, I haven't, I'm not doing all these things that you see on, on social media because I'm in year one, yeah. right? I'm actually, now I'm in year two. I just celebrated my one year anniversary of my speaking business. So it's in the grind. It's in the thick of it. It's, yeah. it's, I, I don't ever want a, a woman to be like, I'm not where I should be. Boo boo, you are exactly where you are for a purpose. Go yes. through it, drive through it, learn through it. This is not. This is not the end. This is a no. part of it. This is what. This is what it is. No. So I, I I I love that women are more and more women are becoming entrepreneurs. I love that more and more women are coming together and speaking and having these honest convers- conversations. Because it's important. We can do these things. We can do so much greatness if we stick together and help each other grow through this. Um, and that's that's one of my biggest messages is being that rising tide that lifts all ships because I want women that I speak to to do better than me. Of course. Why not? Be a positive impact. Mm-hmm. It mm-hmm. feels good. Let me ask you something, Priscilla. So let's say if your 10-year-old self was able to look at everything that you've accomplished, like if she was sitting right by you and she was like, hey, hey, hi, what would you be most proud of to share with her? If she's like right here and I'm like, Priscilla. I got you when you were 10, girl. She's right here. What would you be most proud to tell her, to share with her? That you you live unapologetically in peace. Where you're at right now, it didn't come with millions of dollars and it didn't come through awards. It didn't come through medals. You grew through all of it, through all of the sexism, through all the racism, through all the colorism, through all the the partnerships that didn't work out, for all the brands that didn't find value in, in it, you are sitting here probably the happiest you've ever been, continuously growing exactly as you are. There was nothing wrong with you. You are incredibly beautiful and talented and smart. And you are exactly who you are unapologetically. And I think that's something I never thought I would ever say. I don't want, I wanted a boob job for so long. I wanted to get Botox for so long. I wanted millions of dollars. I wanted, I just compared my life to everybody else for so long. I wanted a two parent household. You know, I wanted, yeah. I wanted all the, I wanted juicy couture when I was in high school because that was the cool thing. Me too. Me too. We couldn't afford that shit. Me too. I wanted the velour suit with the booty and the tightness and it never fixed. I was so skinny. Like it was, it was so many things that, but now I look back and, 
I created so much. I, I did so much and I'm doing so much. And I just had this epiphany two days ago that if I stopped right now and I decided, you know what, I'm going to become a teacher or I'm going to get it like a regular nine to five and I'm just going to live at peace with my husband, I'd be so okay with it. I'd be okay with it. Uh, my life is one of so much resilience and so much sacrifice, but it's all, also one of just growth. It really is. And so I love this, where I'm at and I love what I'm doing. And I, everyone always said, Priscilla, when will it be enough? Yeah. And I always said, never. I always said, never. Yeah. But what is that really doing to my mental? What is that really doing yes. to what I think of myself? I am enough. I really am. And I recently spoke at Fairleigh Dickinson University. And afterwards on LinkedIn, a lot of people posted about it. And a guy commented, it was a woman empowerment event. And this, yeah. this young man, this man came and he posted on a picture that we took. He said, this young lady is going to surpass everything that she mm -hmm. did as a and I never, ever gave myself permission to do Celebrate that. Celebrate that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I never think I could potentially do more now than I did as an Olympic athlete. And yeah. so I think allowing ourselves to not limit ourselves by what we perceive. Yeah. We really need to find value in ourselves, in our voice, in our, in our being, in our mm -hmm. dedication, and literally say, I am limitless. And I have limitless potential and incredible things are aligning with my life. Yeah. I don't compare myself to other people. I'm extremely cautious now of my marriage and what we have because yeah. I realize not everyone is happy for me. Yep. Yep. And I'm building this team. I'm building the sisterhood of people that not necessarily are like minded, but just can be supportive and pour into my cup. The yep. same thing that I did then, right? So it is a work in progress. And I've never, I, I did a solo sport, it was just me and the high jump. So football <laughs> is like, ugh. I do that. But when you become this, I radiate light. I really try to. I try to be you know, a symbol of God's love and a, 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 literally a symbol of happiness and courage and tenacity and, yep. you know, encouragement and living the best life. And I hope that that's aligning with me. And it is because I'm on this podcast with you. Hell yeah. Right? That's the whole reason why I wanted you on. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Priscilla, right now, like just kind of hearing, you know, what you said, you said a couple things that just like hit me personally, you know, about being an Olympian and like, you know, putting yourself first, you know, um, there is that struggle as being a mom, as being a wife, you know, in, and, and then an entrepreneur, right. Um, there is that struggle with, okay, I got to do this. I got to do this. I got to do this. And in order for me to do all of those things and be an exceptional mom, be an exceptional wife, I have to be exceptional to myself first. And so right away, when you were saying that, it's like, oh, Priscilla just gave it a name. I'm in training. I'm in training. Yeah. So, so everybody, everybody back the fuck up because I'm in training. I'm in training. Damn it. I'm in training. I'm in, in training. It's I'm in true. Training. You're, what is your Olympics? What is your Olympics? Yes. Right? Olympians train four years for one day, maybe two. If there's a finals, right? Yeah. But you the Olympians train four years for one day. I trained eight years for one day. I missed it the first day. So what are you training for? And what things are blocking your blessings? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you need to do to really focus in? Right. We have an Olympians. We train from the goal backwards. Yep. So see what that goal is of yours, that limitless goal. What is it? Do you want to be making seven figures in eight years? 
What's your business plan? What's your family plan? What mm -hmm. is it? And train backwards. I love Take that. it step by step. That's why you need a business plan. You don't have to yeah. pay for the business plan. I Googled it. <laughs> you get it out and then you, you you massage it as you go along and then there are people along the way like there's i gotta tell you the small business department in new jersey i will scream his name matt well is phenomenal and this is in new jersey but every every state should have a small business support that is a hundred percent free yeah and they work with you and they sit with you and they and they support you these things come along, right? So this is your training. What is your weight room? What is your 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 track? What is what's your nutrition? What it's all a part yep. of it. It's putting in ten thousand hours. A, professional athletes, not just yep. Olympians. No, professional athletes do not settle. We don't give up. We don't give a shit what anybody tells us. We don't care because. We have so much of an ego Hell yeah. Hell you. in ourselves, in what we can do. You have and to. May, we may have failed. I, I don't think people realize this, but when we go to the weight room, we don't lift the same thing we lifted two weeks ago. No. When we go up to a track meet, well, for me specifically as a high jumper, I always ended a meet. Even if I was number ranked number one in the world, always ended up with the bar falling down. Always ended on a failure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As high jumpers and pole vaulters, you see what you have to clear. You see it before it ever, and you know it's rising. Yeah. Mental toughness. That's what it is. It's a mental toughness. It is. It, it, it's an environment. It's a lifestyle change. And that is something that I had to really buy into. It's a lifestyle change. You'll yes. have coaches. You'll have trainers. Who is in your court? Who is helping you? Yeah. It, who's, who's there for you? Who are you surrounding yourself? What are you eating? What are you ingesting mentally, physically, spiritually? Are they aligning with you? It is everything. I knew it from the moment that I worked with my coach, from the time that I met my husband. My husband helped me to change how I approached failure. Yeah. And I come from a Latina and Caribbean background. We love to argue. <laughs> we love to be, uh, my husband would glaze over and he was like, I don't know what is happening. So in those moments, I could either double down and be like, I'm going to continue or take a step back and say, he's not communicating the same way I communicate. So in order for us to move forward and make progress, I have to communicate differently. A lot of people can't look at themselves and say, I need to be the change. I'm so I'm that the one needs to be the change. Belong. Yep. Yep. Right. Some people were taught under stress to go have a cigarette. Some yeah. people were taught when they have stress to go for a run. There's yeah. two different avenues, yeah. right? Sometimes you've got to take a step back and change the direction of how you're dealing with certain situations. That's what Olympians do. Yeah. If one set of training isn't working or isn't benefiting us, Okay, take a step back. What what are the adjustments? That's mm -hmm. what we do every single day. We're making adjustments. We're improving ourselves. That's what's most important. What is your that. Olympic game? And how what is your Olympic game, ladies? Yes. What are what are you working towards? And are you willing to give it four years? Six years, eight years. Mm -hmm. it took me eight yeah. years to get to the Olympics. Eight years, and never. There were, there were, there were definitely times. I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna say never. There were definitely times where I was like, "This sucks. I hate this." <laughs> I suck. but like this. I'm not doing it anymore. <laughs> I was like, this is horrible. I miss my cheesesteaks. 
I miss having a beer. I want to go to the club. I'm trying to turn up. I look cute. <laughs> this is kid. bullshit. Right? So, but it was so important for the people that surrounded me that were yes. like, no, girl, get your ass up. Let's go. Let's go. We have more work to do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so it's, it, it, it's a journey. And you figure it out. But th- that's what's most important. Figuring Priscilla, out what it is and, and, and going after it r- like a bat out of hell. R- keep going. Keep going. Keep going. You oh, got yeah. this. Priscilla, I like feel so motivated. I don't know whether I'm going to run. I'm a fucking run for president. But it's like, let's go. Hey, let's do this shit. Let's do this shit. That's what it's about. It's about doing it. It's about feeling good about what you do and where you're at and feeling that fire, that passion. And yes, this shit gets hard, but it doesn't matter because easy will never get you there. That's what was my had to. I had to because I am allergic to being basic. Basic and me don't match. Mm -mm. And basic Mm -mm. and females do not match. No. We are so much more. We have so much more to offer the world. The world needs you. The world needs your voice. They need your spirit. It needs your excellence. So please, whoever is listening to this, wherever you are, you better give yourself a damn round of applause and Mm -hmm. keep it fucking pushing. If you need to cut out people, it's time to cut them out. You need a sign, cut them out. If you need motivation, this is where you're going to find it. Keep going. Do everything for your excellence because that's what you mean. You are excellence. So please keep going. Keep moving. Keep listening to this podcast. All of her episodes. Learn something from other people. Take the good. Learn from the bad and thrive through it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Priscilla, how can we find you for those that are like, I am ready. I'm fucking running. I don't know where I'm running to, but my ass is running. I got my business plan that I Googled. <laughs> How can Girl, we find you, I'm, Chris, Priscilla? I was faking it till I made it, right? Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm very, very active on Instagram. So you can follow me, Priscilla underscore Frederick. Instagram would not let me change to my married name. They were not having it. I was so like, not today. I- not today, homegirl. <laughs> Yeah, nah, nah, nah. Um, so it's uh-uh. Priscilla Frederick, but you can also visit PriscillaLumis.com. Um, and there's a lot of like a lot of things that are happening and changing. And um, I'm, you know, I'm updating my website and I'm, I have a really incredible partnership with this uh, paper company. So I'm having like a custom line of journals and notepads yes. and stuff. So it's absolutely incredible. And that was really important to me to continuously have people because one of the biggest things I'm not a meditation kind of person but I journal and that was something that I really wanted to do so I'm definitely going to be talking more about that I travel all around the country speaking at different engagements so it'll I'll keep you updated on where I'm at so maybe you can come Um, oh yes very very grateful yes girl hopefully I'm in your where are you at I'm in Temecula I'm in California Temecula California okay so I'm going to have to get out there. I, I you love better hit my ass up. You better hit my ass up. Oh, and if I'm over there in the East Coast, already, you know I'm calling your ass. Already? Yeah. You have to do another podcast part two with, with some cocktails. That's me. Hey, I'm down. Don't tempt me with a good time. Don't tempt me with a good time. <laughs> Cucumber, a little pink margarita coming up. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> Thank you so yes. much, Priscilla. Yes, girl. Uh, listen, you come to Cali, I'll introduce you. I will int- I will formally introduce you. Priscilla, yeah. thank you so much for coming on. I know your time is valuable and I just, I appreciate all you do and just this joy and this light that you're spreading to the world. And damn, I'm going to tell you right now, I want to hug your 10 year old self and just say, girl, you did it. You did it. <laughs> for, for all the things that I've gone through, I'm very, very grateful that one, my mom didn't give up on us, but yes. uh, that I did on myself so i'm very Bingo. very grateful so blessings Bingo. blessings blessings and you know aligning with incredible women like you is such an honor and so thank you for doing this thank you for putting this out 
Thank you for having me as a guest and for your mission and what you're doing. Absolutely. All right, girl. Let's be honest. We can all use a little help in our marriage, especially when it comes to communicating. I have created a guide just for you. Five things that are killing your marriage tips from a therapist. Find out if you are making these marriage mistakes. Ladies, this guide is 100% free. I will give you practical tips and easy to use strategies to apply right away. You all know I'm a huge advocate for couples. I am on a mission to help you and your partner experience stress-free living. With this free guide, we are setting our marriages up for success. But it starts with you. You will find this free guide here in the show notes or go to www. VeronicaCisneros.org. The information I will be providing you is next level. And people pay good money to get these tips that I will be giving you for free. Don't forget to share this with a friend. What's up, ladies? Just want to let you guys know that your ratings and reviews for this podcast are greatly appreciated. If you love this podcast, please go to iTunes right now, write a review, rate the episode, and subscribe. Don't forget to share it with your friends. Addiction impacts all of us. Addiction's consequences run through all of us. From ourselves to our loved ones and through our communities, addiction creates so much loss and grief. My name is Dwayne Osterlin, and I'm the host of the Addicted Mind podcast, a show featuring personal stories, expert guests, and vital information about addiction and addiction recovery. We'll talk with leading treatment providers to discuss the latest research and treatment options for this devastating disease and advocate for mental health awareness. We discuss topics like the importance of creating a community of support to helping loved ones to some of the latest research on psychedelic medicines. The Addicted Mind podcast has been about creating hope, listening to stories of many amazing people that have overcome addiction and are thriving. If you or a loved one is struggling with addiction, subscribe to the Addicted Mind podcast wherever you get your podcasts or check out theaddictedmind.com. New episodes every Monday. See you there. It's easy to blame ourselves for our struggles with alcohol. We see people around us being able to control their drinking without any consequences, yet no matter what we try, we can't seem to figure it out for ourselves. My name is Jillian Teets, and I am the host of the Sober Powered Podcast, where I use my biochemistry background to explain the latest research in addiction and help you understand both why you drink the way you do and how to develop the skills and mindset you need to find freedom from alcohol. I discuss topics like why we think about our drinking 24-7, why we have no off switch, and why we crave alcohol. If you're struggling with your drinking or you know someone who is, then I hope that you will check out the Sober Powered Podcast. New episodes every Friday. See you there. Addiction impacts all of us. Addiction's consequences run through all of us. From ourselves to our loved ones and through our communities, addiction creates so much loss and grief. My name is Dwayne Osterlin, and I'm the host of the Addicted Mind podcast, a show featuring personal stories, expert guests, and vital information about addiction and addiction recovery. We'll talk with leading treatment providers to discuss the latest research and treatment options for this devastating disease and advocate for mental health awareness. We discuss topics like the importance of creating a community of support to helping loved ones to some of the latest research on psychedelic medicines. The Addicted Mind podcast has been about creating hope listening to stories of many amazing people that have overcome addiction and are thriving. If you or a loved one is struggling with addiction, subscribe to the Addicted Mind podcast wherever you get your podcasts or check out theaddictedmind.com. New episodes every Monday. See you there. Addiction impacts all of us. Addiction's consequences run through all of us. From ourselves to our loved ones and through our communities, addiction creates so much loss and grief. My name is Dwayne Osterlin, and I'm the host of the Addicted Mind podcast, a show featuring personal stories, expert guests, and vital information about addiction and addiction recovery. We'll talk with leading treatment providers to discuss the latest research and treatment options for this devastating disease and advocate for mental health awareness. We discuss topics like the importance of creating a community of support to helping loved ones to some of the latest research on psychedelic medicines. The Addicted Mind podcast has been about creating hope, 
listening to stories of many amazing people that have overcome addiction and are thriving. If you or a loved one is struggling with addiction, subscribe to the Addicted Mind podcast wherever you get your podcasts or check out theaddictedmind.com. New episodes every Monday. See you there. It's easy to blame ourselves for our struggles with alcohol. We see people around us being able to control their drinking without any consequences, yet no matter what we try, we can't seem to figure it out for ourselves. My name is Jillian Teets, and I am the host of the Sober Powered Podcast, where I use my biochemistry background to explain the latest research in addiction and help you understand both why you drink the way you do and how to develop the skills and mindset you need to find freedom from alcohol. I discuss topics like why we think about our drinking 24-7, why we have no off switch, and why we crave alcohol. If you're struggling with your drinking or you know someone who is, then I hope that you will check out the Sober Powered Podcast. New episodes every Friday. See you there. It's easy to blame ourselves for our struggles with alcohol. We see people around us being able to control their drinking without any consequences, yet no matter what we try, we can't seem to figure it out for ourselves. My name is Jillian Teets, and I am the host of the Sober Powered Podcast, where I use my biochemistry background to explain the latest research in addiction and help you understand both why you drink the way you do and how to develop the skills and mindset you need to find freedom from alcohol. I discuss topics like why we think about our drinking 24-7, why we have no off switch, and why we crave alcohol. If you're struggling with your drinking or you know someone who is, then I hope that you will check out the Sober Powered Podcast. New episodes every Friday. See you there.